Good morning, family. Welcome back to another video where I have literally nothing to tell you. <laughs> but I'm here. I'm showing up. So y'all don't put an APV out on me because I ain't posted the video. So, oh, no, today's Wednesday. So you're going to get it on the day I'm recording it, which is... Wednesday. Today is Wednesday, the 18th, and you should be watching it on the 18th, no later than the 19th, because you have your notifications on. You know when I put the video up, you're um, ready for sharing, like you're ready to come into my space. You know what I'm saying? So my plan for today is, there today's a chill day. I have what's a bee outside the window? Ooh, he big, he a big one. Oh, he want to get in here so bad, but he can't. <laughs> he can't get in here. So today's going to be a chill day. Um, I went to the penthouse this morning. And I got overwhelmed. So I didn't even, and, and, and broke my nail. This is what stopped the show. I literally broke my nail off. And it hurt so bad, okay? Anywho, um, so I didn't get to finish what I started there. Which is why I'm back here at the Chateau because I was in pain and aggravated and I just wanted to cry. So, no plans for today at this point. And um, I don't know if you can see what I'm watching, but I got a little bit of ratchet TV. What you doing? Recording, what you doing? Get ready to work. Okay, what you about to do? Huh? I done messed up y'all. I'm all in your recording. <laughs> what you about to do, Ron? Babe, we got some time today. I know we said we was going to chill out, but we got some work to do. What's the work? Let me show you. Okay. Look. <laughs> Scoop mm -hmm. up part of my nail. <laughs> you see this? Right How close it is yeah. to the floor. So we had to raise the floor up, the thickness of the uh, of the laminate, mm -hmm. which made the doors mm -hmm. kind of tight, like real tight. Yeah. And the thing is, is that it got registers in this room. You're right. Right? And the return is right over there. And so whenever the air blows, it actually has to get out of the room to make it back to the return so it can recirculate. Didn't know so that. So that's the reason why you would see doors are never really close to the floor. It should be like a half inch gap. Okay. And that allows for that airflow and then also, you know, any type of swelling and stuff like that so your doors won't won't stick. Because oh. eventually this will just start getting worn and it will have that little swing. Yeah. Okay. So, so what? it's four doors. Oh, God. It, four. You, you need my help with it now? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> you need your help. Okay. We're a team. We are a team. You need me to actually assist, like physical labor. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So we're gonna we're gonna cut these doors down, but maybe I can go through the process of how to do that. Okay, that's cool. You think? Listen, right. footage for me. Let's get out. Man, so so out. I need to help you carry the doors out. Nah, I got muscles I'm, for that. No, I'm saying we going out to make cuts or something. Yeah. Okay. All right. Come yeah. on. Now, when I put these doors in, I didn't put all. Sometimes people can take. The screws out. Mm -hmm. That's 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 the hard one. The whole hinge. Yeah. So just take you know take your screwdriver, pop it up. All right. Or you can go from underneath, stick that in there, and pop it up. Take the pin out. So either way, you take that pin out. One pin, two pin, three pin, and then the whole door come off. Okay. All right. That's step numero uno. For taking a door off. Taking a door off. And that's real handy too, like a lot of times when you bring the furniture in or whatever the case is. Why do you say the other way is harder? Because that's how I always do well, it too. I mean, yeah, it's not necessarily harder, but the more you take those screws out mm -hmm. and put them back in, the more stripped out okay. the holes become. Okay. So you want to try to avoid taking your doors off by removing the screws. Because so, okay. it's just easy to pop the pins. That's what they're designed for. Okay. Pop the pin, take the door off, bam. All right, now, door off. most doors are gonna have some room from the panel to the floor. Uh -huh. Because they know that 
sometimes the doors need to be cut down. Right. Right. So in these doors, most of the time in residential, you're gonna have hollow doors. Now these are actually solid doors, but you got a strip in here that's about yay big. Okay. Right, and that allows you to cut the door and still have the integrity of the door, so it won't be. Right, but you can't go any further than about an inch and a half because that's about all that, that strip is. Okay. But you can cut these doors down without no problem. Now, there's a couple of things you need to do when you cut them down. Okay. And I'll show you that outside. All right. Okay. Okay. All right, so your basic tools that you need is some type of straight edge, mm -hmm. safety goggles, of course, pencil, tape. Tape is very important. Of course, your tape measure. Mm -hmm. We're going to cut a half inch off. Now mark that, and the only thing I'm doing is marking that so I can figure out where to put the tape in the center of that mark. Where to put the tape mm -hmm. in the center now the of tape, the mark. The reason why we use the tape is that you put the tape down, when you're cutting, it keeps this wood from chipping. Okay. And so I figured that right there, so pretty much well on the edge, right? Mark my head finch. Okay. Use my straight edge. Okay, that's my cut mark. Okay. Now, you want to set the depth of your saw. Cause you don't want it too big. So, you know, this thing slides up and down. Wait a minute. It does, I promise you it does. You need a little bit WD-40. <laughs> <laughs> WD-40. <laughs> so you setting it so that what now? I'm setting the gauge, so right here. It's down, see that? You want to make sure that your saw is cutting way through, but you don't want it so it's cutting all the way through like that. Okay. So I'm setting it so it's cutting a little bit yeah. past the door. Okay. All right. Tighten that up. Now, got to determine which side you're going to cut on. That side, right here. Come right here. Oh. Now, I like to cut on the side where I can see the saw. And see the line. So I'm mm -hmm. cutting right against that line all the way down. Okay. Now if I do it the other way, I'm cutting on the opposite side of the line. I want to cut this off, but I want to stay on that edge and I need to be able to see that. And so that's the reason why you cut on the edge that you can actually see that you're cutting on. So you like that side better? Yeah. Okay. Now you could just cut straight down the middle of the line if you wanted to. Yeah. But it's a matter of preference. Yeah, I would cut on that side too where you at. No, actually I wouldn't. Safety glasses. Safety first. Mm-hmm. All right. Now some people will make a jig where they would take the saw, right? They'll take their straight edge and they'll clamp it. So only thing you gotta do is just go. Keep out. it against that. Yeah, keep it against that. But you gonna just freehand. I'm gonna freehand it. Okay, freehand. <laughs> In here, this only this piece only goes up so far. Right. So if you cut too far up, you'll end up with a hollow door. Okay. And that's it. That's like the now. whole process. Take, and so we're gonna have some swing now. We're gonna have some swing, swing. Okay. That's it. Run to it. Gotcha. Oh, 
And then me, because I'm a cheat code expert. <laughs> what you going to do with that? <laughs> cheat code expert. <laughs> <laughs> Just dusted it off. One down, three to go. Okay. All right. Does this door need to be repainted or no? Probably. Try to repaint it and take all this this stuff off, and you know, eventually get there. Okay. All right, rehanging it. It's pretty simple. I like to just focus on this top one. Mm -hmm. Now, you gotta watch out for your hands too, but you can get your hands in now. Alright, take it. You don't need my help. I'm good. Because <laughs> you know I'll come and help. I know you will. I'm good. Okay. Okay, dokie. Coffee time. Let's go to bed. That's this. Listen, Ron ain't gonna work me today on my day off. I'm just gonna go ahead and let him know that right now because uh -uh. I guess he say you have literally hey. Work me to death. <laughs> he don't care. So yesterday, look, let me tell you, yesterday, two things. We had the, the cabinet guy came yesterday, and Ron started asking him questions, honey. And he couldn't answer them questions how Ron wanted him to answer. And it was a full-on no-go. <laughs> it was like, nope. Next. So I was like, okay. Oh, I have, um, what is, is that the Carmel hanging? Or is this the whole cloth I'm using? And this is the creamer that I'm using. Mmm. And I even, I do this too, because I have so much caramel in there. I take some pink Himalayan salt and I just put like a little bit on the top. So it'll be kind of salty, salty caramel. Mm-hmm. Mm. So good. You don't know nothing about that. Cold coffee. Good? Yep. Hey, look at this coffee. Oh, that looks good. We need Starbucks. That looks delicious. You got the caramel drizzling down the side. <laughs> <laughs> You're so dramatic. <laughs> He's so dramatic, y'all. This has been my, um, Coffee choice, y'all. Um, I haven't had hot coffee in a minute. And yesterday I cooked cod, fish, broccoli, and cheese, and potatoes. That's what, and shrimp. That's what was for dinner. Did you enjoy it, babe? It was delicious. 
Mm hmm. You always need my help. Hold up. Man, I'm trying to work here. Me too. I know you don't care. You said we're taking a day off. I, uh, yes, exactly. <laughs> so why uh, is this happening? <laughs> so why you get to work? <laughs> Mine's is not manual though. Like, are you just sweating? Uh, human. See how easy it is to take it off with the pins? Yeah, but I'd be afraid I'm going to smash my fingers. Yeah. But yeah, it is easier. Much easier. doing good all this time. I had no malfunctions and this thing cut a flip. I need to poll the audience. You need to poll the audience, okay? Okay. So, when I got this fiddle leaf, mm -hmm. it was, um, it was nice size. You know, it was about, about yay big. You know, this thing wasn't that far over. Right. But it's really growing. Like, all of this is new. Like, this is, and then it's starting to have a whole nother a whole nother one of these situations going on. Okay. So what Ooh. what I wanted to do was get a rod, you know, plant rod, and you know, kind of like do that up. But mm -hmm. what I'm concerned about because this is gonna keep growing and starting to grow up now, I want to take this and kind of like do one of those numbers. Okay. But I want to know what the proper, like, what I need to do in order to do that. Okay. You know, do I build a? Um, hey, I have an idea. Huh. What if, yeah. <laughs> this is just my idea, uh -huh. what if you found a, an actual branch outside, like a thicker, you know, like this width or whatever, yeah. with the fork in it, like yeah. this, yeah. and then put it down in here to just let that rest on it. Yeah. Put that down in the soil so it'll still be a natural piece of yeah. tree. Yeah. Just to, to hold this up though. Branch though, right? Huh? It has to be a pretty thick branch in order for it to have a solidity. 
I mean, thick like this, because it's gonna go down into the dirt, yeah. right? Yeah. That's and then it's gonna idea. hold the weight of this up and just let this rest on there. I got you. I understand. I understand Instead exactly of what you're saying. Yeah, that'll work. I like that idea. I like metal better. Metal don't look right though. Okay, all right. Well, this is. I mean, it's right here. Now we got the. Now we got the question. Okay. Yeah, now we wait for the answers. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Wait, this leg can come down. Oh, I'm, I got a job for him. Hold up. I just thought about something. I have a whole job for Mr. Rod. Kitchen layout that Ron sketched up on the um, so that when we go buy the materials for the kitchen, we take this and we'll know how much countertop you know to go in the spaces, the sink distance right here. We're adding to the island, so the island will be um, a little bit longer. Island will be a little bit longer. And that's the coffee bar over there, coffee bar area. So that'll stay. I think he's gonna add to it to stick my um, wine cooler in that. Okay, let's ask him. I'm gonna aggravate the dog crap out of him. Ron, where you at? I have a question for you. I was looking, what you doing? <laughs> this man is legit busy. Uh, I gotta get that painted. Yeah, you do actually. It's been a long time. I have a question for you. Okay. So I was showing them the plans for the kitchen, the layout you drew up for me. Mm -hmm. And the coffee bar area, right? Mm -hmm. Oh, are you gonna put the wine cooler in that somehow to make it? In that space over there, I'm curious. Thought we was going to two questions: the wine cooler, right? All right. And did we say the the new pantry location? Yeah. Which, which do we decide? So this right here, pantry location, built out of plywood, custom built. And I thought you said you wanted to put the wine cooler like right here. No, because we how would a pantry gonna be at there, babe? All the rest of it, and on the bottom. That's not enough. Huh? That's not enough. Okay. No, uh-uh. Okay. No, that needs to be all pantry. Okay. I think it'll be nice over here somehow. I have to, if it goes over here. Because you already have a space underneath, well, let right? Let me show you something. Let's Just my idea, okay, y'all? Most countertops, uh, it's about 35, 36, 36. 35 to the top of the countertop. All right, so 35 and then whatever thickness is of your countertop. Uh -huh. All right? So, but most of them are 35 high. Same thing here. But here, since this is this, this is more, that's 31. Okay. And so the coolers, the wine coolers go just like the dishwasher. Bam, bam, standard height. Not all of them are that large, though, right? Eh? Most under cap, under counter, under counter wine coolers. This front vented at the bottom mm -hmm. is this height. Normal. That tall. That yeah, that tall. Normal, okay. Normal countertop height. So in order to do that over here, right, we'll have to get um, more more uh, cabinetry. Maybe like one of these and then one of these or drawer and drawer, whatever the case is, and put that in the middle or the end, wherever you want it at. Unless we can find something that's small. That's kind of short, though. That's really short for a wine cooler. Mm hmm I don't want to lose any space over here, though. This is neat. This is needed, needed. This is a need over there. Here to here is 40. 43 and a half. It should be the same thing here. Yeah, 43 and a half. So, the, so it'll just be the same as this. The same profile over here as over here. 
we just won't have as much height. Because right now we got. Well, that's a wine. I mean, the uh, coffee station. So that'll be a little bit different anyway. And here we got 18. Yeah. So it just moves by what, three inches? By going up. By going up. But then your gain, your gain more, more, more storage space. Because a wine cooler will probably be what, 21 inches? Yeah, about 21. Okay. Or 24, however we want, two foot, probably 21 is my idea. Okay. So we have 21, yeah, we'll be able to do like two of these sizes. And okay. then a wine cooler either on the middle or on the end, probably on the end better, huh? Okay. Yeah. Yeah. But then again, that's going to cost, this ain't going to be no little no more because. It won't be? Mm-mm. -mm. Okay, so no. if you, it, but it, okay, so if you put it over, <laughs> if you put it in here, right, mm -hmm. and you saying that it's gonna come up to the same height as that, and you come across, mm -hmm. right? So uh, only this part up would be. Now I can do the wine cooler at the bottom, like normal. You know what I'm saying? So it, this is just a team to team, and then the wine cooler will be here, and then all of this will be pantry. But you said you wanted it at, at height, so you won't have to bend down. Yeah, but I changed my mind on as far as. Oh, Lord. The, <laughs> I don't know if I aesthetically will like it okay. here, as opposed to over there in an already set up drink station, even though it's coffee, right? Yeah. But so how do you think it'll look in the bottom of this? I just don't want to lose that all that good storage space for because we need that we do really bad we do i don't want to take away from it for wine because this is functional like for me this is functional the desk space i mean just underneath it and the reason i say that because the subwoofer right over that goes <laughs> <laughs> you gotta have soap in the kitchen, okay? Why you have to have it in the kitchen? Why, Ron? Why? Just, the kitchen is the heart of this home, right? So if you're in here congregating, got your little sounds going on, and everybody want to tink, 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 we want some boom, 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 right? But then also the vacuum, this is where the vacuum part. So it's functional for That me. vacuum can go anywhere, though. And plus the other one will be here. Does that even work? Yeah, well, I gotta fix the wheel. Let's see. Yeah. So, okay. Well, yeah, I mean, either, whatever you say, whatever you like. So you about to paint in here. Yeah. Okay. And then what? Then I'm going to do this. So I'm going to put that up there, but I never got, I never caulked it and fixed right. it and painted it. So, so are you going to do the one in the office? Huh? You're going to do that one too then? What you talking about? The same thing. Huh? That that one needed too. What you talking about? Ain't one in there. No, you, you never finished at the top of the full wall. That's not done. It's not caulked. Oh, 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 yeah, 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 yeah. I caulked. I thought you were talking Don't about it. Don't get it, Amnesia. No, no. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to knock my money to do this down. <laughs> Stop <laughs> acting. <laughs> <laughs> One more thing, too, I need you to do. Like, seriously. And, and, before you say that, and... Come rain, hell, sleep, or snow, I am changing this out today. Right? Okay. I got it. I've been headed. I'm changing okay. it. Okay. And one on the other side. I'm going to do that. Okay. Get that done. Change the filters. Okay. Now, what was you saying? The desk. Can Do you have anything out there you can just cut the piece for me? Yes. But the desk. Let me get that done today, too. One Let's more thing. One more off. thing. One more thing. I shouldn't have. I, <laughs> I shouldn't have. Babe, one more thing real quick. This right here. I want to turn this around. What? This rug. Turn it around. Take that, the end that I can't okay, get down and put it over okay. there on that side, yeah. right? So just. The only thing we got to do is just steam this, though. I don't think so. Show me if that steam and it'll make it stay down. It will. It's just. It just, it, it went this way. It's, it's trained that way. So we just need to steam it so we can get it to lay flat and then put some more tape on it. Put something on it, a couple of boots, let it set for you know, a little while, and it'll stay. But we can turn it around too. 
Yeah, but now that turning around is better anyway. Just to and still do it, do what I said do, and that way we will have a new uh, edge that hasn't been damaged. Right, because that's gonna be it makes total sense to me. Thank you, baby. Okay. You're so sweet. I love him. <laughs> You're the best. Okay. Goodbye, dirty bird. Bye. <laughs> we'll see you in another life. Finally, you're at, these things are everywhere. This man needs music and sound on the loudest level ever. If we don't cut this caulk around here, this paint just going to peel. Oh, the whole... Oh. Okay, you know what I'm thinking. The front. That whole thing needs to get off. Mm -hmm. Ew. Mm, bleed, though. Mm. You tired? No. No, okay. I'm going to fix you some lunch in a few minutes. You just gonna have to wait and see. It's gonna be good though. And quick. Good and quick. Mm -hmm. Mm. <laughs> mm. You don't have good quick stuff. Stop on you. I like a good quickie. I know you do. <laughs> see. I my good quickie meal. Me too. Mm. You had already took the thing out. Oh, no. What in the world? Are you seriously? Man, it's got special screws. Do I'll you, be back. Do you have a special screwdriver? Yes. Okay. Yes, I do. I should have known. Let's see what's in here. Never, whoa. What's down? Okay, just <laughs> Okay. That just looks like a Phillip head. I mean, a flat head to me, but okay. Yeah, yeah. This is a special HVAC tool. Well, mm. just standard in HVAC because most screws are going to be either quarter inch hex or, or 5 sixteenths. Mm hmm. Yeah. <laughs> This look like quarter. So that was fast. Mess around. I'm always touching you, right? Like it, don't you? Mm -hmm. Say it with more enthusiasm. You like it, don't you? Uh, yes. <laughs> I love it. I we got some more handy dandy screws. The same time. Did you have used the flat though or no? Yeah. Oh, okay. It's just, you see how easy it is? Yeah. Goes. Gotcha. You know. What? They say you get a hardest job to the laziest person. Uh huh. And they'll find the easiest way to do it. Give the hardest job mm -hmm. to the laziest person mm -hmm. and they'll find the easiest way to do it. Mm -hmm. I'm not lazy, but. You always try to find the easy way to do it. I always try to find the easiest way to do something. Why make things hard? Why make it hard, baby? 
Don't. The knots. Remy. We didn't have this thing for a while. <laughs> we didn't have this thing for a while. I know. You've been aggravating. Every time I come on camera, <laughs> the family don't miss a beat, baby. You know, that you need to know. They pay attention to everything. Literally. And we could have just probably, you know, took that off and spray painted it. Spray painted it. Did it come with screws? What? Well, what if you didn't have any screws? I don't know. It should have came with screws. Hey, look how clean and so fresh. Hold it up. Done. Good job, babe. Good job. You sealing it with a kiss. Got a little caught. It just completes everything down it. Mm -hmm. I'm enjoying all this work I'm doing today. Whew, God, I'm tired. Mm. Mm. I'm so tired. <laughs> mm, John, uh. See, delegate him some work, additional work. <laughs> what do you think? He was going to work me to death today on my chill day off. Like, I'm legit going to get right here on this couch. Okay, look at, look at that. It's ready for me. I got my movie going. Girl, the old episodes of Basketball Wives. Honey, I'm about to get over here and just laugh at them. If I'm gathering, gathering right, uh -huh. this piece, when this comes forward, this piece falls down this way. Right, and they'll cut a flip. Yeah. So the only thing that we really need to do is just have a brace here. Okay. Right? Okay. Now, we got this case in here. Yeah. That comes out about three quarters. Yeah. And so I need to, I need to get over this some way. I could actually screw a board here, but I don't think it'd be as solid as, as whatever. So, the plan is to find the studs. Okay. Got the stud right there. And the stud next to this socket. Okay. Uh -huh. So I'm gonna put a board from stud to stud. All which right. It's gonna be 16 inches, but I'll just make it 18. Okay. Right. And I'm gonna screw it into the stud here, screw it into the stud here, and make it flush against here. Uh -huh. Then I got a base that I can screw into that will go over that, that will butt up against that. Okay, so you don't have to bother the window seal. No. Okay. So I measure down from the top of this to the bottom of that. See what that is. Nine and three quarters. So nine and three quarters is will be the width of this board, and then what I say eighteen. Mm -hmm. Eighteen and nine and three quarters. 
So I'll sandwich a couple okay, I get. And then that's gonna keep me from cutting a flip. And I can bring these forward. Cause this is the only one I can't get to. And plus I don't like how it looks sitting back with this much space. And this is glue, by the way. Glue. Anyway, he's so sweet. Oh. Okay. So my thought is to, again, is to take this piece, put it against here. That'll get me over this case. And then I'll be able to screw this board into this and not the casing okay. or, or both, it doesn't matter. It's just giving me more of a flat surface. All right, I already marked the studs. Yeah. So it's going to be that direction? Huh? No. Oh. I was just marking studs. Okay. Give me a little party hole. Hey, be careful around your leg. Hmm? Be careful around the leg. You said if you did it right? Yeah. This board should just go up there. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, see, I'll be needing a visual. I have no clue until I see it. Okay. Got you. Yeah. And then it's flush to hold it right up there at the top. That's the culprit up top. And it's a little bit of a wire hider. <laughs> that was the plan, right? A little bit of a wire hider. Oh, was it? <laughs> no. <laughs> okay. It's going to feel so good to pull those to the front. Okay, so I can pull them up. Now? Oh, well, you didn't tell me I had a little bit of, uh -huh. a little bit of space there. So what? Doesn't matter. Oh, yes, it matters. Nobody's going to see that. It hey, matters. no. Ron, please don't. <laughs> no. Ron, no. It so matters. Don't take. Oh, you got to be kidding me right now. Oh, <laughs> you are so anal. Ron. It matters. Dude, it doesn't. It matters. It's still there, so it doesn't matter. Yes. Oh, I'll steal that a little bit. He's he's fast out with that little space. Right <laughs> 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 crazy. <laughs> Fasting wheel. <laughs> okay, let me pull them to the front. Let me pull them. And now I have my things to the front. And the brace, so you can't even see the brace under it. Can't even see it. We're not talking about paint. I'm not doing it. Nope. Nope, nope, and nope. But I'm so glad he's getting to his honey do list because that'll mean if he works on his list today and tomorrow, right? On his vacation, then the weekend he could actually enjoy his weekend. I don't be wanting him to have to always be busy doing stuff. You know what I mean? Like, I need him time. I don't live off time, and I try. I'm trying to. Okay, what is happening here? I'm trying to. Um, okay, wait. Oh, whoa. What did I do? I'm trying to also teach him 
not to live off time. And by living off time, I'm saying constantly looking at your watch, constantly looking at time. Like, okay, I have to do this, 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 and this, because all that's time related. I try to remove some of that out of his life because he's been on time, like most people, forever. I haven't lived off time in quite some time. So that's what I want for Ron. So if he does it today, a little bit tomorrow, then he's done. I'm waiting on one more package. Then I can show y'all something next week. Okay, so let me go aggravate him. Let me go aggravate, oh, hey, girl. It's the lighting, it's the lighting. Oh, fuck me, look at this lighting. Look at it, look at it, please look at it. Uh, what you say? Is there an angel on camera? Why, absolutely there is. Absolutely. <laughs> it's okay. 